Lady Noir Text is a miraculous fan comic made by the False Viper. Please support her in her work. We can be calm about this and rational, and totally not freaking out or anything, but we kind of need to talk about this. <laughs> Save me! Work is boring, and I may actually die without Milady's attention right now. Sounds like someone's being a little overdramatic today. This is the first time I heard you mention having a job. Have you been working for long? Tisk tisk, Milady. You should know better than to ask such personal questions. I have my secret identity to protect, after all. Alright, forget I asked. But still, I would imagine it's hard having to work and be Cat Noir. It's worth it, as long as I get to be around you. Are you awake? <sighs> Cats are nocturnal creatures, milady. Are you alright? Yeah, nothing's wrong. It was just a really long day and I need someone to talk to. But it is a lot later than I realized. I'm sorry. I don't want to keep you up if you were about to go to bed. Polly's. This cat's not going anywhere until you're feeling better. Cat. Yes, my lady? Is this you? Shh. Don't tell Ladybug I made an account. Hashtag Cat Noir. Hashtag Lady Noir for life? No. So you didn't make an Instagram account? Even after I said it was a bad idea? No. Oh good, because for a moment there I was going to be really angry and then I would have to come and find you and you were going to be in big trouble. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you won't have to do that. Is that you I see walking around with Boba? <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm doing an exclusive interview with the one, the only, Cat Noir! What's it like being a superhero? It's the best feeling in the world. Freedom, power, lovely fans. Plus, I get to run around with the lady, which is always nice. What more could anyone ask for? How do you feel knowing you beat out Paris' very own supermodel, Adrian Agrest, for most eligible bachelor? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's hilarious! I could have stopped laughing when I found out. Just knowing that I beat Paris' sweetheart himself for the title has been the very highlight of my week. Shout out to all of my fans for making this possible. Over the years, we've seen you occasionally save Paris as your other alter ego, Mr. Bug. What can you tell us about your experiences while being Ladybug? Well, no one else could ever be Ladybug. She's too amazing. Learning how to use the yo-yo was a nightmare, like easily the hardest thing I've ever had to do since being a superhero. My face was absolutely covered in bruises after the first time. Just thinking about it makes my jaw hurt. You know what, after thinking about it, I'm gonna have to say the best part about being Mr. Bug is easily the suit. I mean, did you see how hot I looked in it? I was definitely rocking those spots. What was your first impression of Ladybug? That first day was... weird. Neither of us knew what we were doing at first. It might have taken some encouragement, but her quick thinking and courage came through for us like it always does. I'm pretty sure I would have proposed to her on the spot if I only had a ring with me. How have you and Ladybug taken to the term Lady Noir? <laughs> Alia Cesare, the woman who runs the Lady blog, she's the one who told us about it at first. She said it was our official ship name. I think it's awesome. But, and this is between you and me, Ladybug has forbidden me from saying it around her. Any chance of there ever being more between the two of you? Ah, um, I'm not sure Ladybug would appreciate it if I said anything too personal about us, you know? She's my best friend and my partner. The last thing I want is for her to be uncomfortable. I just read your interview. Ooh, did you swoon looking at my pictures? I want to know what your answer would have been. My answer? The last question, about if you ever thought we would be more than friends. Hypothetically, if it wasn't an interview when I was the one asking, what would you have said? Probably something like, Why, milady, you're being awfully forward this evening. Can you take this seriously? 
It's hard to take hypothetical questions seriously, Bugaboo. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'm actually asking you what your answer would have been? Well, how do you want me to answer? I don't know. Will you just answer it already? You know me, Bug. I'm just a hopeless romantic waiting for a miracle. I always have been, and I always will be. So, I know you probably don't want to talk about what just happened, which, which is fine. I completely understand why you might need some time to think, which is also fine. We can be calm about this, and rational, and totally not freaking out or anything, but we kind of need to talk about this.